This is going to surprise you. Ted Cruz fights with conservative Florida preacher over a deadly anti-LGBTQ plus Uganda law. Senator Ted Cruz has had an exchange and joined the ranks of public figures condemning Uganda's anti-gay legislation, calling it horrific and wrong. He tweeted that any law criminalizing homosexuality is grotesque and an abomination, urging civilized nations to condemn Uganda's law. His stance was met with backlash from some conservatives. While condemnation came from both major political parties, some on the right have defended the law that implements the death penalty for some gay people in Uganda. Cruz on Monday responded to a pastor who criticized his opposition to Uganda's law. He also hit back with another question, pointing to another Leviticus verse that reads, quote, for anyone who curses his father or his mother shall surely be put to death, end quote. Tom Askell, pastor of Grace Baptist Church in Cape Coral, Florida, that's Fort Myers, responded to Cruz's tweet calling out Uganda's law, writing, quote, tell it to God, Ted, end quote, while citing Leviticus 20, 13, a Bible verse frequently used to justify opposition to LGBTQ plus rights. Askell told Newsweek he does not believe the U.S. government should execute gay people, but that the point of his question was to, quote, determine if the senator believes that when God criminalized homosexual conduct in the Old Testament, that our maker was guilty of prescribing a law horrific and grotesque as law. End quote. It's interesting first, uh, before I comment on Ted Cruz, it's interesting that the pastor in Fort Myers, which is a metropolitan community of 700,000 people, we're not talking about backwash Alabama. Um, um, no offense to backwash. Yes, no offense to backwash. Well, probably. Uh, offense. Love your gumbo. Um, uh, he ignores Cruz's observation that you can pull a sentence out of the Old Testament mm -hmm. and prove anything you want. And he ignores that. Uh, I'm going to criticize mom and dad. And if I criticize them, put him or her to death. That was the point that Cruz was making, totally ignored. Just goes back to home base and says, God's word is absolute law. But wait, Senator Cruz pointed out, it is not absolute law because we would be executing I mean, probably all of us, I know I have, have violated that scriptural law and should be put to death because I have had words or consternation with my mom death and my dad. Times, <laughs> right, exactly. So he totally misses the point. Right. And of course he's going to miss the point. I'm very surprised by Ted Cruz. I just have to yeah, and, and that was the other point that I Maybe he to should make. tell his colleagues. I, uh, historically, do not agree with almost any words that have ever come out of Ted Cruz's <laughs> mouth. And he confuses me yeah. because I can't find a way to criticize Ted Cruz in this moment because he does everything that we would want an ally over world politics of what's going on in mm -hmm. Uganda to say, this is completely grotesque and it should be stopped and we should all oppose it. And he challenges everybody. We criticize the right for all of their vagaries, and really the ultra left too, the extreme left, of all of the vagaries of why can't you just come out and say this is wrong? That's exactly what Ted Cruz has done here. How do we criticize Ted Cruz when he does exactly what we've asked him to do? Well, so go ahead. Uh, no, I was going to say, I wish he has that same energy in the Senate and in Congress <laughs> as people like Marjorie Taylor Greene, right. uh, Matt Gates. Right. Uh, the others. <laughs> Is there hope for Ted Cruz, do you think? I don't know. I think Ted Cruz does what feels right in the moment, what mm -hmm. feels the best for his ambition. Mm. Um, just a few years mm. ago, he was talking about how, you know, pronouns, you know, it's just two genders and, or, and two sets and everything. But I think Ted Cruz is doing what's right for his poll numbers. If mm. he feels like he's going to enter the presidential race or he feels like there's you know, some, you know, I think he's a little smarter than people like Trump and DeSantis. He gets that, oh, in order for me to win, I need to win over some group of people, some moderates. And so in this moment, he probably feels, okay, well, there's some maneuvering I can do. do does that mean you don't think it's, uh, do you think he's being disingenuous in saying this? 
I don't, I don't think we'll ever know. <laughs> I mean, only actions will be able to tell us. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. The whole point of all this is we, we see people evolve and they grow where they learn different things. They learn about not, it wasn't that long ago when gay men didn't know how to use pronouns either. Mm -hmm. So it's a time things eventually get there. I don't, and the thing that I have, people tend to downplay when Republicans are supportive. There are a lot more that are supportive than are, than we do hear a lot against us. But at the same time, not every Democrat so pro-LGBTQ as well. By the way, just a little sidebar in terms of accuracy note, the majority of uh, Republicans that identify as Republicans in America support the LGBTQ mm -hmm. community. Mm -hmm. Cannot dismiss that. Right. The majority do. It's also interesting. If you actually, if, I wonder if this pastor knows how to read Aramaic, because when you go back and look at the actual translation, it says, Mention, you shall not lie with another uh, boy, not man, referring to pedophilia. But that's never, ever talked about, mm. is it? Mm. In that case, I do support the death penalty, personally. Yeah, it makes you wonder, if it has, has something come into Ted Cruz's life that has made him maybe speak out against this? And whether, is it someone from his family? What do you think? It, I mean, you know, you know, the other thing is political aspirations. Um, you know, does he want to maybe leave the Senate and run mm. for governor of Texas when Greg Abbott is done? Because Greg Abbott is so far uh, on the, you know, against the LGBT community, so this is his way. I mean, again, Ted Cruz is, is very, of, of all the things he is, he's very strategic. Right. So there is something either, like you said, constituents, maybe it's something in his personal family life. I think he has a family member uh, who, I yes. I believe See, I thought so. it was when he grew that beard and now he identifies as a bear. I thought that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just one final thought. We're going to, uh, we're, uh, we're going to move on. Um, I know uh, that there's thousands and thousands and thousands of LGBT that are exactly like me right now that are confused. Ted mm -hmm. Cruz has confused yes, me. For sure. And I want, I, I, I love the words and I want to believe him. And it's really hard to believe him, but I want to. <laughs> I know there's thousands of LGBT or the same, same stuff. We are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community. With more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.